Test 3. Listening Part 1. You will hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions 1 to 8, choose the best answer. A, B or C. Question 1. You hear a man talking about flying long distances. I travel abroad a lot for my work and I regularly take flights that are at least 12 hours long. That can get boring, but I keep busy on the plane and I usually travel business class. The thing that really gets to me is how exhausting it is to adapt to different time zones, especially when you're only there for a few days. I've tried loads of techniques, like when I get on the plane I set my watch to the time zone in the country I'm flying to, so I establish a new routine from the start of my journey. But nothing seems to make much difference. I travel abroad a lot for my work, and I regularly take flights that are at least 12 hours long. That can get boring, but I keep busy on the plane and I usually travel business class. The thing that really gets to me is how exhausting it is to adapt to different time zones, especially when you're only there for a few days. I've tried loads of techniques, like when I get on the plane I set my watch to the time zone in the country I'm flying to, so I establish a new routine from the start of my journey. But nothing seems to make much difference. Question 2. You hear a woman telling her friend about a jewellery making course she did. That's a lovely necklace you're wearing, Becky. Thanks. I made it myself at a jewellery class I did in the evenings. Really? That sounds like a very relaxing activity to do after work. Mmm. I just shut myself off and got on with my creations. There were about 15 of us on the course altogether, but everyone worked really quietly. That's what made it such a pleasurable experience. Some of the people are now selling their pieces at the craft market and asked me to join them. But that's not really my thing. Well, I'd buy your necklace if it was for sale. My sister would adore it. That's a lovely necklace you're wearing, Becky. Thanks. I made it myself at a jewellery class I did in the evenings. Really? That sounds like a very relaxing activity to do after work. Mmm. I just shut myself off and got on with my creations. There were about 15 of us on the course altogether, but everyone worked really quietly. That's what made it such a pleasurable experience. Some of the people are now selling their pieces at the craft market and asked me to join them, but that's not really my thing. Well, I'd buy your necklace if it was for sale. My sister would adore it. Question 3. You hear a woman talking about moving home. I've just moved into a new apartment on the other side of the city. It's not near any of my friends, which is a real shame, but the upside is my commute to work is now under 20 minutes. I didn't enjoy the process of moving, though. It seemed to take weeks to pack everything up, and then even more time to unpack and sort through it all when I got to the new place. I ended up throwing away loads of stuff I didn't need anymore. I won't make that mistake next time. I can't believe I paid the removal company to transport all that old stuff. I've just moved into a new apartment on the other side of the city. It's not near any of my friends, which is a real shame, but the upside is my commute to work is now under 20 minutes. I didn't enjoy the process of moving, though. It seemed to take weeks to pack everything up, and then even more time to unpack and sort through it all when I got to the new place. I ended up throwing away loads of stuff I didn't need anymore. I won't make that mistake next time. I can't believe I paid the removal company to transport all that old stuff. Question 4. You hear two film critics discussing a film starring an actor called Tanya Fry.
What did you think of Tanya Fry's latest film in the park? Well, I've only given it two stars in my review. I mean, Tanya did the best job she could, given the plot was so predictable and the dialogue uninspiring. She's a brilliant actor with a particular talent for comedy, but this production didn't bring out that side of her. Well, I suppose there were a few funny moments, but essentially, yes, that was the main issue. This role didn't stretch her in the slightest. But I do think it's great there are so many more parts around now for older actors. Mmm, it's a welcome development. What did you think of Tanya Fry's latest film in the park? Well, I've only given it two stars in my review. I mean, Tanya did the best job she could, given the plot was so predictable and the dialogue uninspiring. She's a brilliant actor with a particular talent for comedy, but this production didn't bring out that side of her. Well, I suppose there were a few funny moments, but essentially, yes, that was the main issue. This role didn't stretch her in the slightest. But I do think it's great there are so many more parts around now for older actors. Mmm, it's a welcome development. Question 5. You hear a football referee talking about his job. As a professional football referee, I make sure I take plenty of exercise and eat healthily. I prefer refereeing top league games or even international matches. But so do most of my colleagues, and there's quite a lot of competition between referees. But we're also each other's support network, so I always have someone to talk to about what went wrong in a game. I couldn't do without this, as refereeing can be really stressful. Don't get me wrong, football's come a long way, and standards of refereeing have improved, but there are still disagreements on the pitch between players and some of them question the referee's decisions. As a professional football referee, I make sure I take plenty of exercise and eat healthily. I prefer refereeing top league games or even international matches. But so do most of my colleagues, and there's quite a lot of competition between referees. But we're also each other's support network, so I always have someone to talk to about what went wrong in a game. I couldn't do without this, as refereeing can be really stressful. Don't get me wrong, football's come a long way and standards of refereeing have improved, but there are still disagreements on the pitch between players and some of them question the referee's decisions. Question 6. You hear two friends discussing a photography exhibition they have just been to. I really enjoyed the exhibition. Thanks for asking me to come. That's OK. I know you're a keen photographer yourself. Yes, but not in the same league as that. I've been following the photographer's work since I saw an article about him online. It's great to see how he's developed over the years, but I am a bit envious of the amazing landscapes he manages to capture so beautifully. It's really made me want to track down the locations he used so I can go and photograph them too. What a good idea. I really enjoyed the exhibition. Thanks for asking me to come. That's OK. I know you're a keen photographer yourself. Yes, but not in the same league as that. I've been following the photographer's work since I saw an article about him online. It's great to see how he's developed over the years, but I am a bit envious of the amazing landscapes he manages to capture so beautifully. It's really made me want to track down the locations he used so I can go and photograph them too. What a good idea. Question 7. You hear a travel and tourism student talking about a project she is doing about pop culture tourism. For my project, I'm looking at pop culture tourism. That is, people who travel to destinations featured in literature, movies, TV shows, etc. All these forms of entertainment have huge numbers of devoted fans who get really excited at any chance to go and visit where the action happens. 
This presents the tourism industry with many new opportunities. But at the same time, it's proving hard to deliver what fans expect once they arrive in the destination. Pop culture tourism providers have been working with local people and experimenting with what to offer visitors. But more work needs to be done on this growing sector of the industry. For my project, I'm looking at pop culture tourism. That is, people who travel to destinations featured in literature, movies, TV shows, etc. All these forms of entertainment have huge numbers of devoted fans who get really excited at any chance to go and visit where the action happens. This presents the tourism industry with many new opportunities, but at the same time, it's proving hard to deliver what fans expect once they arrive in the destination. Pop culture tourism providers have been working with local people and experimenting with what to offer visitors, but more work needs to be done on this growing sector of the industry. Question eight: You hear two friends discussing a local market. Do you ever go to the local market? I've started shopping there since it reopened. No, but I'd heard the building looks lovely now they've put a glass roof on it. I wouldn't really call myself a fan of markets, to be honest. I can't bear being squashed into the narrow gaps between the lines of stalls. You might give it a try one time. I think you'd be impressed that only goods from this region are sold there, which is great for the economy around here. It might be a bit dearer than shopping elsewhere, and it is getting really popular. But I think it's worth it. Okay, thanks for the tip. Do you ever go to the local market? I've started shopping there since it reopened. No, but I'd heard the building looks lovely now they've put a glass roof on it. I wouldn't really call myself a fan of markets, to be honest. I can't bear being squashed into the narrow gaps between the lines of stalls. You might give it a try one time. I think you'd be impressed that only goods from this region are sold there, which is great for the economy around here. It might be a bit dearer than shopping elsewhere, and it is getting really popular. But I think it's worth it. Okay, thanks for the tip. That is the end of part one.